We've all been there, where we're trying to make a few extra bucks to invest, pay rent, buy a video game, or for really any reason. So in this video, I'm gonna cover five side hustles with very little to no startup cost at all. I'll be covering what they are, how they work, and how much money you can make from them. So make sure you watch to the end because some of these side hustles might surprise you. And if you like to make money, now's your chance to smash that like button because if you don't, I guess you just don't like to make money. Let's get into it. The first one I'm going to talk about has zero startup cost, and that is selling Instagram growth services. Now you might be like, Jake, how do I sell Instagram growth services? Well, if you're new here, I talk about growing Instagram accounts all day long on my YouTube channel. So basically what you want to do is you want to grow Instagram accounts for people to 1K, 10K, 20K. Basically, you just want to charge them between $7 and $10 per 1,000 followers. This service can be offered on Fiverr or through Instagram Discord servers, which there's a link to mine down in the description below. And the amount of money you can make is actually limitless because as long as you can run Instagram accounts, you can just get Hootsuite and run like 30 Instagram accounts at a time. And there you go, you're just raking in cash. And the more people that you provide good quality services to, the more referrals that they'll give you within the Instagram community. And you can turn this into a full-time side hustle business. The second side hustle that I'm going to cover, and it kind of ties into our last one, is growing your own Instagram theme pages, which obviously I talk about all the time on this channel. Step one, find yourself some profitable niches. There's a link in the description of this video to a video where I talk about the most profitable niches on Instagram right now for you to check out after this video. Step two, grow your page to 10,000 Instagram followers. Trust me, it really doesn't take as long as you think it does. And step three, it's time to start making some money with our theme page now that we've got 10,000 followers and a profitable niche. The first way is to sell shout outs or promotions on your Instagram page. Now this is actually really easy to do because the bigger you get, the more people that are gonna come to you naturally. And if you're at 10K or you're a pretty small page, what you're gonna wanna do is go to pages just like yours in your niche that you see are selling promos and you're gonna wanna DM the people that are actually buying promos in your niche from people of a similar size and undercut your competition. Now you might be asking me, Jake, how do I undercut my competition? It's easy. Use one of your other Instagram accounts and go and DM the people who are selling the shout outs and ask them how much they're charging. By charging less and delivering more value, you'll be able to snipe their customers away from them and potentially keep them as long-term customers customers that keep coming back and buying promotions as long as you're doing a good job. Another way to make money with your Instagram theme page is to use affiliate marketing. So you can use things like the plug, which I'll put a little link in the description or the bio of your Instagram page and people can click on that, download some apps and you'll get paid per download. To get in the plug, you'll need about 5,000 followers on your Instagram account and a majority based United States audience, which in most niches is not a problem. Another way to go with the affiliate marketing path is to use ClickBank or Amazon affiliates. So basically put a product up, advertise it on your page and every person who buys through that link that you've got on your page, then you'll be making in some fat stacks. And the last way to make money with your Instagram theme pages is to create your own products and sell them on Etsy or Shopify or your own website for that matter. If you've got your own products and you're doing a good job, then you can actually set these things up so you can make a ton of money doing your own thing. This is especially important for those people out there who have personal Instagram accounts. Say you want to start a photography business, you can sell some of your work, sell them prints, framed prints, whatever it is really. And the amount of money that you can make with Instagram theme pages is completely and entirely up to you. And the reason I'm saying this is because I know somebody that makes over $10,000 cash per month using his Instagram theme pages to sell promotions and shout outs. Why can't you get a piece of that pie?
The third side hustle that we're gonna cover is actually one that requires a little bit of startup cost, but not really very much, and that is flipping books with Amazon FBA. Step one, go to your local Dollar Tree or big name dollar store in your area. Once you're in there, you're gonna see a complete row of seemingly brand new books. Now these books are what you're gonna be making money from because they are called remainders, or books that publishers could not sell, so they ship them off in bulk to the dollar stores. So make sure you get the Amazon seller app because from here you'll be typing in the title or the ISBN number or the identification number of the books, checking the prices and seeing if you can actually make money from that book. So go through all the books in this whole aisle and make sure you get some that are worth the money. After your profit margins are calculated, you just need to take all your books in a big old box, take them down to UPS and it'll be like four bucks to ship them off. It'll be real cheap. Send them straight to Amazon. Once they're sold on Amazon, then you'll get paid. The cool thing is I know a lot of people that actually do this full time for a living and it's actually really lucrative and it just depends how much time you wanna put into it. If you wanna turn it into a full time gig, that's great. If you wanna make it a side hustle thing, that's also great. Just put in the time and I promise you, you'll be raking in results. Make sure you keep watching because these next two are actually pretty juicy. And this next one here is a personal favorite of mine and it kind of ties in a little bit to the Amazon one. And this one is flipping video games and DVDs that you find out in the wild. The best place to find video games and DVDs to flip is garage sales, thrift stores, and on Facebook Marketplace. I personally like to look for citywide garage sales, put them in a calendar, and even if they don't have video games at their garage sales, then I'll ask them if they actually happen to have any video games inside. And a lot of the time they actually do. So basically you're gonna wanna look for older video games, the Wii, the GameCube, the Nintendo, anything that's older. And typically Nintendo products hold the most value for resale, so Pokemon, Mario, or anything that's an RPG that has replayability. From there, when you're wandering around the thrift store or a garage sale, you're actually just gonna wanna get the eBay app and you're gonna wanna look up the games that you think might be worth money. And then you're gonna go to completed and sold listings and you'll be able to see how much those things are selling for on a daily basis and the date they actually sold for. So if you're picking up a game for three or four bucks and that game's selling for $45, you pay the eBay fees, you pay the shipping, and the rest is pure profit. As with the rest of them, the amount of time you put into it is actually deterministic of how much money you make, but it's not unreasonable to make $150 to $200 profit in a single day. And the fifth and final side hustle I wanna cover is actually creating a YouTube channel. Now, don't click off this video because I know what you're thinking. You probably don't wanna sit in front of a camera all day like me making videos because it can be a little bit nerve wracking, a little bit hard and it's a lot of work. But what if I told you there's actually two kinds of YouTube channels that you can make a ton of money from? There are these things on YouTube called faceless channels and I'm sure you've seen them before and you don't even realize it. Five minute crafts, how to basic, those kind of channels that never ever show anybody face. And a great YouTuber to learn about the faceless YouTube channel side hustle is actually Make Money Matt and I'll make sure to drop a link to his channel down in the description because he has an entire channel dedicated to making money with faceless YouTube channels. So how do these faceless YouTube channels actually make money? Well, the first one is YouTube ads and we all know that YouTube creators make money off ads and to do that you need 1,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel along with 4,000 hours of watch time. And the way you get paid is based on the amount of views that you get on your videos. So for instance, in the Instagram niche, you can expect to get paid five to $10 per 1000 views. And given that I've gotten about 13,000 views in the last month at $5 per thousand, that's about $65 just for this month. And the more you post and the bigger you grow, the more you make. It's simple. Some good niches to hop into are ones that are similar to making money online. So channels in the finance niche make about $30 per thousand views. And in some cases, I've seen it go as high as $60 per 1,000 views. Now imagine you get a million views on a video just on a one-off scenario. That's a ton of money coming right into your pocket. And the types of channels you wanna stay away from are gaming or memes, pretty much anything that advertisers are not willing to pay to put their ads on. And additionally in this space, there's some other ways to make money such as affiliate marketing. If you look in my description, you'll see that I've got links to all of the equipment that I use on my YouTube channel. And somebody happened to actually buy some things 
things on Amazon after clicking on my links. So big shout out to you guys for buying that, that hiking equipment and hooking me up with that $1.60 Amazon commission. But the more people that buy things through affiliate links or your link on Amazon, the more money that you can actually make passively for your YouTube channel. So I did absolutely nothing to make that money and huge shouts to the subscriber who actually bought something. And the last way you can make a ton of money on your YouTube channel is with sponsorships. Now, you probably won't get them when your channel is small, but when your channel is big, you can make as much in sponsorships as you do on ad revenue for the entire video. So don't count the side hustle out because it can actually be a very lucrative and long-term passive income source. That's it for this time. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys got any value from this video, I'll catch you guys later.